Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome back. This is the last lesson we're doing in sentences and paragraphing this week. So you've made it through the week. You've gotten the work done. Today's the day we're going to kind of review just a little bit what, of what we've done all week, go over a couple main points, and then really get to see what you can do as far as paragraphing goes now with, without our help, without any suggestions, and on your own and independently. So like I said, we're really just going to recap what we've learned this week with um, – sentences as far as subject and predicate, then moving into what makes up a good paragraph, what specifically is a good narrative paragraph, and turn you guys loose to write your own paragraphs. So let's first just review what a complete sentence needs, right? If you're gonna have a complete sentence, you need a subject, a predicate, and then you also need capital letters at the beginning and punctuation at the end of the sentence, right? So you have to have both the subject, which is what the predicate, or sorry, which what the sentence is about, and then the predicate, which is the action or what that subject is doing to have a complete sentence. If you don't have both, it's not a complete sentence. We've talked about that a lot this week, but just want to reiterate it again today. You have to have a subject and a predicate to have a complete sentence. You also need to start every sentence with a capital letter. The first sentence in a paragraph, the second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way down to however many sentences you have in the paragraph. Every sentence needs a capital letter at the start of the sentence, and every sentence needs some kind of punctuation at the end. A period if it's just a normal sentence, a question mark if it's a question, and an exclamation point if you're really excited and want to shout, right? So just make sure you're using the correct punctuation and capital letters every sentence. <clears throat> just a little note we have down here at the bottom of the page. Usually if there's like more than one set subject and predicate in the sentence, that means you've got more than one sentence, right? So if you have a run on that says like, Mr. Hoffman really likes his new red car. He drives it all over Indianapolis. He and Mr. Hoffman are two separate subjects and two separate sentences. His red car or likes his red car would be one predicate and drives it all over Indianapolis is another predicate. So you can't have two subjects and two predicates all in one sentence, all right? You have, that'd be two different sentences and you need to separate them. Looking at paragraphing, moving further along with it, what is a paragraph? We've talked about how a paragraph is a collection of sentences with the same theme or topic, meaning they're all about the same story or they're all about the same idea. We did narrative paragraphs, which we'll get to on the next slide, so that should be about a story and they should all relate to each other. Gotta have at least five sentences, right? A main idea, three sentences about details that go with that main idea, and then uh, a fifth sentence, which is a conclusion restating the main idea, where you're basically saying what the main idea is again at the end, but in different words. Can you have more than three middle sentences, three, more than three details? Absolutely, you can have more than three details, but you need at least three for you to have a perfect, complete paragraph. Bonus question we put on here at the end again is um, narrative paragraphs. What are they, right? We worked on that all day the last two days, specifically what is a narrative paragraph. If you remember that a narrative paragraph is a paragraph that tells a story, the topic sentence is the main story and the details are what happens in the story, ding, 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 you've won. No prize, but other than knowing you got it, congratulations, it's awesome that you guys remember that, right? So we've worked on it for a few straight days now. So you've got to make sure that the paragraphs you're writing today are narrative paragraphs. That means that they are telling a story. It's about a story. It's not a nonfiction, a non, an informational paragraph that teaches us about all about sharks or all about um, dolphins, anything like that. That is an informational paragraph, not narrative, right? Narrative paragraph is a paragraph that tells a story. And that's what you're going to be working on today. We're not going to keep going on and on about the same stuff we've been talking about this week. We just want to give you a quick refresher, and then we're going to move into your job today, all right? You're going to get to be a writer with a lot of freedom. The last two days, we've given you all the different topic options, and you've picked one and written a paragraph. It's been awesome to read what you guys can do with those topics. Today, you get to write about any topic you want, okay? So you're going to go on. You're going to choose anything, any type of story you want. It has to be narrative. You're not telling an informational paragraph. You're not doing an opinion. It's got to be a narrative paragraph, but you're giving us a paragraph to read today about any kind of story, any kind of details you want in it. All right. It can be something personal about you. It can be something totally made up. That's your choice, but that is your job today. Right below in the assignment, you're typing in 
your full paragraph. You can either type it all on the page or you can write it in a notebook and then read your entire paragraph. We're looking again for a topic sentence that tells us what it's going to be about, at least three details in the story within the paragraph, and a conclusion. Again, you can have more than three details if you want to. If you write a longer paragraph because you really love writing your story and you want to add extra stuff, that's great. But it has to have at least three details in the middle. Subjects and predicates, capital letters at the beginning of sentences, punctuation at the end of sentences. One paragraph that's narrative. All right. Good luck, you guys. We look forward to reading what you guys can come up with today. Have a great weekend.